wrong, you get fined for it. Okay? For few examples, if you throw litter or rubbish in the floor, and then the officer sees you, they'll come to you, they give you a love letter, which says fine two hundred dollars. Okay? First time offender, two dollars fine. Second time offender, five dollars fine. You go to court, okay, they give you a trash bag also, trash bag and broom, they bring you for five hours community service. That means you go around cleaning. Third time is thousand dollars and one whole day of community service. And then they'll be marked, your name will be marked. That means next time you come in Singapore, if you do the same thing again, you'll be marked for it. Okay, so be careful. No eating in all vehicles, Singapore vehicles, unless it's your own private car. That means the bus, the small vans, public buses, trains, all no eating allowed. Okay, you get fined for it. Or people, even some Singaporeans say don't eat. Don't make a, don't lose your face. Okay, all right? Drinking of water is okay. Drinking of bottle drinks is okay. No coffee, no tea. Uh, you might see some of our drivers holding a plastic. We do it because we know we will clean up. We all do. You don't clean up. Other people come and see. It's not nice. That's why we say no clean. clean, clean. Okay. Uh, other than that, my guy, my colleague here, Zairi, is very shy. He's a baby boy in our company. <laughs> the most youngest in our company. We call him the baby boy. But also a speed demon. Not for this vehicle the smaller van. Okay, if you go, if you happen to see him in the smaller van, you follow him, you enjoy the trip. You are going very fast. <laughs> huh? <coughs> now promoter only for one week. Because the original bus driver has gone for leave, Christmas leave. Uh, we are working he's going on leave next week. Okay, so we are now passing by Orchard Road. This Orchard Road. Okay, nearby is the Plaza Singapore Shopping Centre. Orchard Road. It's a place I call ladies heaven, guys hell. You all understand what is the meaning for? Yes. Orchard Road is a pure branded area for shopping. Okay, You go there with $50, not enough. At least minimum $200 because $50 you maybe you can buy only one shoe or one purse or handbag. Maybe that one also not possible. Okay, and then there are so many shopping malls. The road, whole road is 2.8 kilometers long. Okay, so it's a lot of things. Okay, it's 2.8 kilometers long. Every mall you can see one brand down there. Okay, so if you really want to go, bring your credit card and have at least thousand dollars. Okay, all right. So you can go on your own free time. Make sure you are, you are having full rest because a lot of walking up and down. Each mall up and down, up and down, walking, walking. Okay. We will continue by shopping. Still do that. Second place to go shopping, Mustafa Centre, Little India. It's slightly affordable. Okay. Down there you can find low end products, meat products, and high end products. Branded items. But the branded items are maybe one, two years out of space. Not the immediate one. Maybe two years, you know, two years back. But you can buy things. Okay. Another place which I call ladies seven guys sell, but more enjoyable for ladies and guys is Boogie Street. Boogie Street, the low, the first item will cost you roughly about fifteen dollars. Second piece you buy five dollars off. Third piece you buy five dollars off. The more you buy, the more bargain you get. And it's the only place in Singapore where you can get bargaining. You can do some bargaining. Any other place in Singapore, no bargaining allowed. I can see some ladies shaking their heads already. That one is one example is here. There. Great. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Signaling. Okay. So that one, you can go. Definitely, I'll suggest you to go. Even me and my wife, we go there once a month. I bring $200. Okay, I'll give you a budget making for a budget breakdown for shopping. If you feel, bring $200. You go to Orchard Road, maybe you buy two or three items. You go Mustafa, maybe you buy five to six items or seven. You go Boogies, definitely without breaking as well, you can buy ten items. Okay, I see some guys laughing already. Oh my God, what have I got into? Correct? <laughs> okay, but guys also, there's Guys, down there also. For let's about say about 60 stalls down there. In New York street. It's a street market, uh, street market, uh, not uh, air condition. Street market. About 60 stalls down there. For example, 45. I uh, know 40 for ladies. About 10 for guys. Balance 10 for souvenirs and everything, etc. But you definitely enjoy yourself. Okay, suggestion to go down there for shopping. If you got no program today, go there for shopping. If not, if you got. Tight schedule. After Universal Studios, you can go there. You can ask the driver to drop you down there. Or on your last day, normally it's your birth pub or departure. After birth pub, you return back about 12:30. 
you want to go draw a boogies, you reach there by 1 o'clock. Or departure, before your departure. Good place to go. Uh, nearest MRT station is called Boogies. It's about 10 minutes walk from the plane here. Okay? Okay, in front on the left hand side, if you turn left, you will see a big fence down there. You can't see much, but that is actually the Istana. Okay, it's the President's White House. Not his own house, but the White House. You know, everybody has a White House, right? So, that's the White House for the President. Come there as soon as possible, we are in the same level. 